Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the Displace node. And the Displace node basically uses a map image to displace or refract other images or your media. So let's go ahead and bring in a Displace node. Displace. And I'm going to bring in some other footage so we can uh, kind of see what's happening with this. So in order for the displace node to work, let's get this up here. You need to have an image input. And once we do, you can see we've got some displacement going. So over here on your displace node, there's two types you can use. You can use radial or XY. In the radial, we pretty much have our center of where our displacement has taken place. So you can move this around to change your center of your displacement. You can pick what actual refraction channel you're using, meaning what uh what is it using from the foreground image so whether it's using luma your red channel green blue alpha we'll leave it on luma now in order to use your alpha channel just so you know right now we have nothing and if we look at our foreground image it's a straight alpha but if you remember right from our other node breakdown we can bring in a bitmap node, place it in there. And under our bitmap, we can change this from, let's get this in the viewer, from alpha to luminance. Now we've got an alpha channel going on. So on our displace node, now we can use our alpha refraction and use our alpha channel. Now your settings within here, you can uh, offset. You can change your refraction strength, how much. You can change your light power, which pretty much the power of how much light is going into your refraction. You can see it right down here. And once your light power is up enough, you can start changing your light angle, meaning where your light is coming from. You can change the spread to make it softer, harder. And your actual light channel where your light, what channel your light is using, meaning RGB, alpha, or your overall color channel, or you can leave it on Luma. So the other type is your XY, and what this does is it gives you separate XY offsets and it depends on what channel you're using. So if we uh, go ahead and put all our channels on Luma, or actually we're using Alpha, so we can use Alpha. So we can offset in our X independently of our Y. And the light power, light angle, and spread, and light channel all work the same as from the radio. So go ahead and stick that on radio. So you can see this is a pretty powerful node. You can use it for a lot of things but we'll go ahead and do an example. So let's get rid of all this. And a typical example would be, say a shot like this. And say they came back and the client said, well, you know what? We want it to be a rainy night. So we want it to look like there's rain coming on the window. So we could do that easily. Now, before you actually really did this to a shot to make it production ready, you would uh, stabilize it, track it, and do it on those stuff. But I'm just going to go ahead and track it real quick. I'm going to drop in a Mocha Pro Note. And I'm not going to get in depth in depth with this. Um, if you'd like to see how to do this right now, I actually have a VFX for the Indie Filmmaker course, which goes over creating a music video using 100% green screen and effects. 
and I go in depth on using Mocha Pro to track, stabilize, and do all that other stuff. So it's a great course. I'll leave the link in the description. It's like 26 bucks for like 20 hours of training. So check it out. So let's launch Mocha Pro. And I'm just going to grab some stuff here to track. Hopefully it stays out of the way of our actress. There we go. And I'm going to track that. And export my track for Black Magic. Paste it so we've got a track. So let's bring in our other footage and we're going to use these raindrops. So, first thing I'm going to stick this in my track data to make sure we are tracking correctly. We need to pull our alpha off of this image to be able to use in our display. So again, we can use our bitmap. And disconnect that. And we'll probably use luminance on this and just dial in something quick, pull up our info, and there we go. That's good enough for this. And we just go from our bitmap into our displace. And if we look what's going on, we now have rain on our window. And obviously we needed to uh, resize our image, but uh, we can kind of see what's going on. So once you have that in there, you can go in your displace and you can change your power up or down. We can drop it a little bit so it's not so powerful. And we can come in here and change our refraction strength to get it a little more or less. And there we go. We've got a watery window going from this footage to this footage using the displace node. So I will see you in the next node break now.